Hey everyone, for today's video, we'll be taking a look at a mid-range wireless gaming mouse from Cooler Master, the MM712. We'll take a look at the specs of the MM712, unbox it and have a go at gaming with it to see how the usage experience is like. Let's get started. In terms of its packaging, the box is pretty compact and sports a purple colorway with splashes of cyan and pink for good measure which is very much in line with Cooler Master's brand identity. Moving over to the rear of the box, we get the usual summary of specs for this mouse. We'll take a closer look at these specs later on in this video. On a side note, if you're new to the AOK Tech channel, do consider subscribing so as to keep up to date with the latest product releases in the PC hardware world. Moving on to the contents of the box. First up, we get a USB dongle adapter right here. Now the said dongle has a USB Type-A port on one end and a USB Type-C port on the other end. This adapter is meant to allow users to place the wireless dongle as close as possible to the mouse. Apart from this, we also do get a 1.8 meter long USB Type-C male to USB Type-A male ultra weave cable. The cable is pretty lightweight and soft to the touch. Apart from the cable, we get the MM712 mouse right here. We'll take a closer look at the mouse later on in this video. We do also get a quick start guide. as well as a pack of grip tapes. With that, onto the mouse itself. Right, so first impressions, it's pretty lightweight, weighing in at just 59 grams without needing to go for a design with holes all over. For its price point, the mouse has pretty decent build quality, with no squeaks or rough finishing as far as I can tell. In terms of dimensions, the MM712 has the dimensions that you see on the screen, where it can be considered a pretty short mouse given its length of 116.5mm. It comes with an ambidextrous shape that is more suited for right-handed users owing to the placement of its side buttons. The mouse comes with 6 buttons that can be programmed via Cooler Master's Master Plus software and is available in a choice of two colours, either black or white. Moving on, the action of the left and right mouse buttons feel pretty decent with minimal sideways play as can be seen. I did however notice that there was a wee bit of pre-click travel and some amount of post-click travel if you were to press down firmly on both the left and right mouse buttons. For the scroll wheel, the scroll steps are pretty distinct and it has a rubberized texture to afford better grip during use. Aesthetics-wise, the MM712 is finished predominantly in matte plastic, with the only glossy bits being found in between the spaces where the left and right mouse buttons meet the rear hump of the mouse, as well as the two side buttons. Fans of RGB lighting will be pleased to note that the MM712 comes with an illuminated Cooler Master logo like so. If you opt not to enable the RGB LED, the MM712 has a rather stealthy appearance that makes it suitable for use even in the office. You get the ability to toggle between LED colours by pressing down on the scroll wheel and clicking on the topmost side button. You do also have the option of cycling between lighting effects and this can be done by clicking on the scroll wheel and the bottommost side button like so. Naturally, these RGB lighting effects can also be controlled through the Master Plus app. More on this later on in this video. Moving over to the front of the mouse, we get a USB Type-C port 
which is to be used to charge the mouse via the included ultra weave cable. You can use this mouse as a wired mouse while charging it up, which is convenient for sure. While we're on the topic of the ultra weave cable, as can be seen, it sports a braided cable design with a USB type A mail connector on one end, like so. And on the other end, a USB type C mail connector, of which both connectors sport gold plating. The cable feels and looks pretty premium on the whole. As for the bottom of the MM712, we get 95% PTFE plastic feet, a connection mode switch that allows you to toggle between the three connection modes that this mouse supports, namely Bluetooth, 2.4GHz mode, as well as wired connection with the included ultra weave cable. Above the connection mode switch is a pairing button that is to be used when connecting the mouse to your PC via Bluetooth, and further down, a DPI button that allows you to cycle through different preset DPI settings on the fly. It's worth noting that the said DPI button can be reprogrammed to serve other functions via the Master Plus app. We also get a storage recess right here for the MM712's USB Type-A wireless dongle. Removing the lid, we see that the USB dongle springs up for easy removal, which is a nice touch. On to some additional tech specs for this mouse. The MM712 comes with a 19,000 DPI PixArt PAW3370 optical sensor with the specs that you see on the screen. And it also utilizes LK2.0 optical micro switches with a 70 million click lifespan for the left and right mouse buttons. As mentioned earlier, the mouse comes with three connection modes. And in terms of battery life, Cooler Master states that with the LED lighting switched off, the MM712 has a battery life of 180 hours on the Bluetooth mode and 80 hours on the 2.4GHz mode. On to the usage experience with the mouse. I played several rounds of Fortnite with it, and as a gamer who uses more of a claw grip while gaming, I found the mouse pretty comfortable to use, where its profile and height suited me just fine. As someone who's used to gaming mice that are much longer, I found the MM712 pretty comfortable to use despite its shorter length. Using the large version of the Cooler Master MP750 gaming mouse pad, I found the glide action of the mouse to be pretty smooth and the positioning of the side buttons was just right. In addition, I really like the inclusion of the dongle adapter which affords more flexibility in terms of how you'd like to connect the wireless USB dongle to your PC. Simply attach the wireless dongle to the adapter, like so, where you can then attach the dongle to the included USB Type-A to USB Type-C Ultra Weave cable and position the wireless dongle to be as close as possible to where you'd be using the mouse. Now as mentioned earlier, you do get the ability to tweak the performance settings for this mouse, and all of this can be done within the Master Plus software like so, where as you can see, you get the ability to customize power saving settings, or the button assignments for the mouse like so, tweak performance settings such as DPI, polling rate and angle snapping, customize the RGB lighting effects of the mouse to your heart's content, create custom macros, and of course, the ability to create and save custom user profiles for this mouse. A pretty full-fledged software suite, I must say. I do wish though, that Cooler Master had included the option of displaying the MM712's battery life in percentage terms within the app. As you can see, the battery life indicator is just a battery motive with no bars or lines to allow one to estimate the amount of charge left. With that, to sum up, the Cooler Master MM712 was a pleasure to use in my opinion and definitely delivers value as a mid-range wireless gaming mouse, especially with its 19,000 DPI PixArt sensor, its lightweight that was achieved with a whole free design, triple connectivity options, as well as good build quality. As of May 2023, the MM712 can be had for a price of around 69 US dollars from e-commerce sites such as Amazon. With that, thank you so much for watching, hit the like button and get subscribed if you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys around the next time.